How much money the SF is spending in data centers? Like we are a company that's doing over 100 million in annual recurring revenue. Yeah, and what are the new upcoming features in EHF like as compared to your competitors? Off the top of my head, like some things I'm excited about is a kind of global backlinks filter. Because, global backlink filter? Yeah, this. STM Rush versus AHR. Yeah. So you guys made some comment like CEO I think on some article on Backlinko if yeah, I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they made the ad So what yeah. is that controversy? Can you address that? Uh, it's very... How was the workshop guys? There's no shortcut for making money online. It's only work. You need to work. Hello, hey guys, I'm Chaitan Masani and today I'm sitting CMO of AHS, one of the famous guys on Twitter, Tim Solo. So, so Tim, your presentation at Chiang Mai SEO was very good. So you like on the first slide you had like, you will be charged one credit for every slide. Like who got this idea? Like it was so fun. Like everybody was talking about that. Uh, it was my idea. Well, okay. I kind of understand that everyone right now wants to talk about pricing and pricing since, structure yeah yeah since i came to the conference and i was yes. talking to people they were all asking me about pricing, pricing and, and all, this yeah. is like an elephant in the room yes and if i would just skip talking about it and go straight into yeah. here are like some new developments and features in hrefs yeah people would be like come on like address the real issue, address the real issue. so yeah and uh, i think some kind of to to, to make fun of ourselves it's good. It means that we understand our problems. We're working on that. So I started my presentation with that, and I think it was very well received. I mean, like people were saying that it's very cool, and they laughed. It's very cool that people were like having so much fun with that. It yeah, was so good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you. Tim. So let's start with one of the controversial questions we have right okay. now in, okay. in Twitter. Like everybody's talking. Like I have opened up my Twitter. FCM Rush versus AHR. Yeah. So you guys made some comment, like CEO, I think on some article on Backlinko, if yeah, I'm not wrong, yeah, 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 like yeah. they made the ad. So what yeah. is that controversy? Can you address that? Like what's going on here? Like, please. Uh, it's very easy. They acquired Backlinko yeah. for them. That, yeah. That's a good move, definitely. That's a good move, yeah. Uh, but you have to play fair, like especially yeah. as a public company, as a brand that people respect, you have to play fair and you have to disclose that yeah. because a lot of people in SEO industry know no. that Backlinko now belongs to HM Rush. Rush. But a lot of people who are simply searching on Google for a HREF's review, Again. landing there, and they see it as an independent blogger doing an independent review of HREF's, which is not quite true because that review now belongs to HM Rush. So Rush. we wanted to call this out and we wanted to say, this is your blog, of course, no problem. But please be honest with people and say disclosure. This article, right, this blog belongs to ACM Rush, so we are biased. And to be yeah. honest, it's yeah. not a problem yeah, to do this problem. because yeah. uh, we're going to probably buy some blogs as well and publish also our I know list of tools. But we'll say like we are biased, we are HRFs, we think our tool is the best, and blah blah blah. I don't see why why they are so stubborn and why they won't do it. Yeah. But as long as they don't disclose that they own this blog, own this blog. we will keep calling them out. So yeah, because this I, is the I nature of competition. The statement for change in the article, in the conclusion, before they were saying AHF is better. I think yeah. I was seeing some screenshots from other SEO people. So they, they were saying like, the conclusion, so yeah. they changed the conclusion. Like if I'm not wrong, like yeah. what, what I've seen on the Twitter, but because so many tweets were there. And how do you address this like criticism? I would not say that like, like the credit reports charges like everybody is complaining about the credits like like ai actually charging like once we really like reload the dashboard the credits is, is being charged right? not anymore so yeah when when we just released the credits we made a lot of mistakes i had like explicit slide about it that said that said we made mistakes we made mistakes okay. but we fixed a lot of them okay so dashboard no longer consumes credits you can okay. reload it as much as you want okay that's good uh Filtering, you can apply multiple filters with one button. Previously, you had to apply filters one by one and we would charge you one credit. Yes. That is not fair. We agree. We fix that. Uh, right now, when you buy an extra pack of credits, previously it would expire. Yes. Right now, it doesn't expire for three months. Three months. So we're making those little changes to, changes to... to be more fair. So whenever our customers call us out and say, this doesn't make sense, we were like, 
Yeah, you're right. This doesn't make sense. So, for example, also one latest thing that we are now working on, uh, in some of our reports, we have drop downs. Drop so down. like you click a drop down and we show you like for example which pages of this website are linking to you linking to and you. we previously charged for each click on the drop down but then people were saying this doesn't make sense like it's like those drop downs they're not the same value as like the actual report so you charge a credit for a report and you charge a credit for a drop down they're not the same you're the like that's actually true that's actually true so for that drop down i think within a few weeks we're actually going to stop charging credits for it yeah so we are receptive yeah. we, we listen to our customers and when when we think that it is actually true yeah we we make changes because yesterday you were at the vip dinner so you were talking about like 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 the see like the co-founder of ehf like like the founder of Dimitri. so whenever like new features you guys, someone on the Twitter is saying like, hey, we want this feature in AIHF and, and the founder itself like is saying, okay, let's do it in yeah, seven days. Yeah. So I was hearing yeah, this yeah, 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 So yeah, yeah. can you share more about that? Like how do you deal with the new features? If someone is re like recommending, please, I want this kind of feature yeah, in AIHF. Yeah, yeah. So how do you deal with that? Yeah, we, we actually listen to our customers a lot. Okay. And as any company, as any product company, we have a huge list of ideas. Okay, of yes. things that yeah. we can do. And... How do we decide what things should we work on next? We actually don't have any scientific process where we would like, I don't know, list 50 different things we can build and then grade them. How much engineering time it would take? Uh, is it the feature that people would pay us more for? Is this the feature for like 80% of our customers or only like 3% of our customers? So we don't do this kind of thing. Okay. It's not scientific, it's more like, intuition do we think that this feature actually makes sense is it easy to develop so it's mostly based on intuition and sometimes uh because we care what people think about yes, us we, sure. we read reddit we read twitter we read facebook uh we communicate with our customers in chat we, yeah. we come to conferences and talk yeah. to people and sometimes we would see a tweet where someone is making a very great case that yes, yeah. Hrefs, if you would build this thing, it would be massively useful for my business because X, Y, and Z. And they would like attach a screenshot and like what to do. And because our CEO and founder, Dmitry, he also like watches what people are saying Same about us. Brand, yeah. He would just like take this tweet, post it in our Slack to the product channel and like, guys, uh, I've seen this feature request previously. Let's prioritize this. Let's build this. Okay. So yeah, like our CEO and founder, he personally kind of follows feedback from people and whenever he sees a good idea, he's like, that's that's cool, let's do it. Yeah, and what are the new upcoming features in EHS, like as compared to your competitors? Like, I think you guys are one of the best SEO tools, like I would say, Thank you. say, say that to be very good. Because my team is addicted to EHS <laughs> US, because the US is better than yeah. XYZ company. Yeah. That's why we use it. But it's, it's, it's expensive. Uh, we expect more feasible pricing. Someone who's starting out, because in India, people love EHS a lot. But because of the Thank pricing, you. then there's a problem. Like. The India is a price sensitive market, as you know, a little bit of price sensitive. Guys, market. I've seen what's happening in your startup scene. You're like, you're growing like crazy. You like, you have unicorns and such. Yeah. You, you'll be good. You'll be yeah, good. Like, yeah. you guys are an incredible engineers. You do incredible things. So you're like, thinking to have an office in India too? Like, what's your plan here? In India? No, but I, I had quite a few invitations to come like to different conferences. In India, okay. So yeah, maybe. I don't know, next year, we'll see, I don't know. But yeah, to answer a question yeah. about our newest features, just yeah, features, like yeah. off the top of my head, like some things I'm excited about is a kind of global backlinks filter. Because, global backlink filter. Yeah, yeah this, yeah. this is what I was sharing yesterday. There's a lot of noise in backlink data. Once you start looking at the backlinks report of like a website or URL, you'll see like lots of shitty sites, but we have lots of filters that help you filter out and focus on the meaningful links. For example, links that are coming from websites that have search traffic or websites that are coming from pages that have search traffic or like exclude uh, like subdomains or exclude pages in Chinese. So you can apply those filters, but as soon as you click to different report, those filters disappear and you have to start all over again. So what we can, what we are going to do is we're going to have a global filter. Okay. You set it once with the parameters that you think give you the most meaningful links and then all the graphs and all the reports and all the numbers, they follow those parameters. 
So that would be quite cool. Uh, some AI feature that we're going to release. So a lot of people who do keyword research uh, were using ChatGPT, for example, I do, I have a website about aquariums and about like fishes. Uh, give me some lesser known terms related to aquariums that I can use to write content about. Uh, and ChatGPT gives them like some interesting technical terms that, that people who are in this, in this industry know. We're going to integrate that into uh, Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. So you put a term like uh, aquariums. And there would be a button like use AI to expand this with like little known terms and something. So you won't need to go to chat GPT and then back to Ahrefs. Yeah, so In yeah. Ahrefs, you will be able to use AI to kind of do this kind of thing. So a couple okay. features that are coming quite soon. And what do you think about the traffic potential feature? That, do you think it's like it's very accurate because for, because for some keywords I search for like the search volume is XYZ, but traffic potential is way more higher. Like, is it true? Like, Listen. It, there is not a single metric in Ahrefs that is accurate. Okay. All our metrics are not accurate. All of them are yeah. not accurate. Like this is official, but they are directionally accurate. Like estimate maybe. Estimate. Okay. They give you an idea like, is it big? Is it small? Is this compared to this? Which one is bigger? So if you compare your website to the website of your competitor, you know that for your website, we underestimate traffic by, I know, 50%. But then for your compete, because you're in the same niche and you're ranking for the same keywords, we also underestimate traffic by the same 50%. So if you know your traffic, you can figure out like, what's out the, the traffic of your competitor. But of course, if you're in different niches, or for example, uh, if you're looking at a competitor in a niche where you don't have your own website, then you don't, you, you cannot figure it out. So it's, it's good if you have a website in this niche, because then you, Ahrefs would be equally inaccurate for the websites that are in the same niche. Okay. And how much money Ahrefs is spending in data centers? I think this would be oh, like a huge cost. And how much profitable Ahrefs is? That's my question. Like, please, if you can share some numbers, maybe some uh, something. I else. cannot share numbers because I don't know them. Okay. Uh, this is these are the numbers that our CEO and founder Dmitry knows. I'm CMO. I'm in charge of marketing, so I don't know like what's our profit margin. Uh, I would imagine that it's quite healthy quite because healthy. like we are a company that's doing over a hundred million in annual recurring revenue. Wow. And we have about a hundred employees. Hundred employees. So I would imagine we have quite a nice margin, but as far as I know, most of our profits, Dmitry is reinvesting in, back, back in, into the product, back into infrastructure. We're okay. buying the latest NVIDIA GPUs, which are like crazy expensive. expensive I was awesome. showing a slide that uh, Dmitry, the news, yeah. Dmitry shared a stack of GPUs on Twitter, and that could be a massive yacht. If he would just take this as a profit and buy something cool for himself, that would be a massive yacht. Massive, like, yeah. And we would, could have like amazing parties as a company and like yeah, have yeah. our families there yes, and like yes. do it was something. But yeah, he, he likes building awesome technology. He likes setting himself big goals. This is why he started the search engine. Uh, and yeah, this is why Ahrefs crawler is up there with the big guys. Our crawler is number five in the world. Number five. Okay. It is there with... Uh, Google, Bing, Amazon, yeah, all those yes. like big guys. And what about the AHF search engine? There was also some criticism on like reasons like yeah. why why you guys want to compete with Google? Like it's it's a multi 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 billion dollar company. Why AHF wants to compete with Google? Like uh, there's a niche for everything. Mm -hmm. So search engine is a natural thing for us because. Okay. We already need to crawl the entire web yes, for sure. HREFs yeah. yes. and we need to provide our users with awesome data. Okay. So we already already have everything. We just need like a different interface to tap into the same data that we already have stored on our servers. And yeah, DuckDuckGo, it, it is not, it is not trying to overtake Google. No one is talking about overtaking Google, but we can carve out a niche for ourselves. And Dimitri is not in a hurry. Okay. So he he's he does I, I don't see him uh pressuring the team to make profit out of our search engine, search engine okay. in the next couple of years. That that's not it. That's not it. We have enough profit with HFs yeah, yeah. to be able to 
reinvest in our infrastructure, work with our latest technologies, LLMs, ML, AI. We're training our own language models. So while other companies would have to rely on open API, open AI API and pay them for every API call, we would be able to develop our own language model. Of course, it wouldn't be as good as like those, but for some simpler tasks, for example, like, like a task, like I have a keyword aquarium. Can we, can you tell me like some related terms that are lesser known? Our LLM would do it easily and it would do it a hundred percent cheaper than we would pay for open. So we have a huge competitive advantage in that. So it, it all makes sense. Dmitry is actually like, he was forward thinking, like with investing so much with our infrastructure. And that's how you're giving back to the community and like making this product yeah. much better. Yeah. And yeah. any SGE features you're going to launch because SGE optimization is a new SEO now. Because yeah. Like Google is pushing SGE. So any upcoming features by Acer for SGE? We're watching this field. Okay. Definitely as anyone. Thank you so much for sharing your Thank journey. You with the and guys, if you like AHS, please give them a love. They are the best tool for sure. Uh, so they can they improve everything. That's how you would do. Like you learn that, um, get the feedback from the users and you try to improve the tool all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank uh, you. Take care.